Hello everyone, if you're new here, welcome to EpicArtDesigns.com and if you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a trifold. I realized on my last video, I didn't really tell y'all the size I was using or how I get my sections even so that it folds perfectly into a booklet. So there's actually quite a few things that I want to cover in this video, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. What you see me doing here is I'm going to go to create a design and I'm going to go ahead and type in trifold. So this is not basically a template, but it's most like it helps you with the guides. All the guides are set. More so a template would have like the word in and all the um, graphics on there, but this particular one does not have it. We just need those lines that you see there. So you can also use this technique for any type of booklet you're doing, whether it's a gatefold or a bifold or like we're doing right now, a trifold. So another tip, if you guys need help with visualizing where your front cover, um, where the back will be or the insides, what helps me is I will print out the program and kind of fold it um, to match the design or the layout on the screen. And then I'll see which page goes where and it lines up perfectly. It works every time. And you can do this for a bifold and even a gatefold. And actually, you really don't need a printer to do this. Just take like a blank sheet of paper. It don't have to match the size of this. Just take a regular blank sheet of paper and fold it to how you want. You got your folds on your canvas and you'll see how it'll line up. So now that we have that covered, let's go ahead and get into the size of this program. So the most common size I use for a trifold is 11 by 17. These are the standard size for a trifold. If you want to go a little smaller, you can go ahead and use 8.5 by 11. Okay, now that we have sizes down packed for a trifold, um, what you'll see me doing here is I'm just going ahead and designing this booklet. I'm not going to get into detail on the design part of this, um, but if you have any questions about anything that I just talked about in this video, don't hesitate to contact me at the email that's listed on the screen and it'll be in the description. Also, when you're downloading your design to print, I recommend downloading it as a PDF print file, making sure that you flatten your PDF so that it's not too big uh, for the printer, and also making sure you turn the color profile to CMYK. This ensures that all your colors come through in the printing process. And that's all for today's video, guys. Really hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more. Bye!